Hi, I'm Montgomery Township Mayor Sadaf Jaffer, and I'm here to provide an update on the impact of COVID-19 on our community. As of 9 a.m. on April 3rd, 2020, we have 25 confirmed cases of COVID-19 among Montgomery residents, with nine of those considered recovered. Though the numbers may seem low for Montgomery itself, our knowledge of the extent of the spread is limited by the limited number of test kits. Our health department advises us that there is community spread in Montgomery and that we must continue to abide by social distancing guidelines to minimize harm. This week, we have enhanced our efforts to protect and inform the public in a number of ways. With the support and advisement of our Board of Health and its president, Dr. Jeremy Grayson, our health department has released guidance for Montgomery residents to use cloth masks or scarves to cover their faces when they go outside. Though this is by no means a guarantee that one will be protected from the virus, it does help. We have also implemented daily updates of case numbers, broken down the positive COVID-19 cases by age category, and worked on more streamlined integration with our Nixel Alert system. In the midst of this crisis, we learned that our health department has been awarded national accreditation through the Public Health Accreditation Board. The PHAB accreditation process requires a commitment to quality and performance improvement. People living and working in Montgomery should be proud that our health department is strong, has been rigorously examined, and is working to protect and promote the health of our community. I congratulate Health Officer Stephanie Carey and her staff on this wonderful accomplishment. At the current moment, we face challenges, but the Montgomery community is joining together in the spirit of service. For example, the Montgomery Township Food Pantry has raised over $4,000 in donations to provide grocery gift cards to those in need. The Montgomery Business Association and Rotary Club have been providing meals from local restaurants to healthcare workers. There are also creative initiatives from local sewing groups to sew cloth masks and community members creating protective gear with 3D printers. This resourcefulness should give us hope. We are lucky to live in a beautiful and green environment. Spring is blooming all around us. Please take the opportunity to get some fresh air and enjoy nature. Though we're experiencing an enforced solitude, I hope you will find some value in it. On that note, and in honor of National Poetry Month, I'd like to close with a poem. I, this is I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud by William Wordsworth. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er vales and hills, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils. Beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. Continuous as the stars that shine and twinkle on the Milky Way, they stretched in never-ending line along the margin of a bay. 10,000 saw I at a glance, tossing their heads in sprightly dance. The waves beside them danced, but they outdid the sparkling waves in glee. A poet could not be but gay in such a jocund company. I gazed and gazed, but little thought what wealth the show to me had brought. For oft, when on my couch I lie, in vacant or in pensive mood, they flash upon that inward eye, which is the bliss of solitude. And then my heart with pleasure fills and dances with the daffodils. Take care and let us know if we can support you in any way.